What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hi PSI TV. We're going to be putting a Banks Power Monster Exhaust on an L5P. This is a 2017 truck. Already has Banks Ram Air Cold Air installed and we're going to be doing a tuner as well. So be sure you check my homepage for the other videos in this series. All right, so this is a pretty simple installation and the main reason for installing this is a drop in back pressure. So from the factory, this is a pretty restrictive exhaust. We're not able to do deletes on these trucks. Uh, not sure if we ever will be able to, but with this exhaust, 85% less back pressure in the exhaust system and a 15% reduction in EGTs. Also, as you can see on this L5P, the exhaust tip kind of points out at an angle on the back of the truck. The new exhaust tip is going to point out the side like the old trucks used to, and the idea for this is to keep the soot, all the carbon, and some of the heat off your trailer when you're towing. All right, so this is our exhaust system. Basically, we have our over axle and our tailpipe. The hangers are already welded on, three clamps, and an exhaust tip. So under these L5Ps, there's a few more sensors than the older trucks. We have a pressure sensor here, temperature sensor here, and what looks like an O2 sensor here, but I'm not really sure what that one is, so I don't want to lie to you. So in the back of the truck here, your DPF filter, you have to measure forward from this hanger, eight and a half inches, and that's going to be your cut line. So the tailpipe is the same for every truck configuration, extended cab, crew cab, long bed, short bed. The only difference is going to be if you have to remove these sensors or if you have to put plugs in place on the new exhaust tip. So on this truck, we have a crew cab, standard bed, so our cut is going to be about here. So these sensors will all have to be removed and then installed into the new exhaust. You can see the bank's exhaust comes with the bungs already welded in. Now, if you have a extended cab long bed truck, for example, this kit comes with plugs to put into the bank's exhaust because you won't be removing the sensors from the factory exhaust. So we'll grab a tape measure real quick make our mark and cut the old exhaust off. Okay, with your exhaust removed, this is what you're left with. A little bit of a stub hanging off your filter here. A couple sensors. And the next part's really easy. You just take the exhaust, slide it up into place, put it in your hangers, and tighten your clamps. Okay, we have our exhaust in place. Utilizes all the stock hangers. Now all we need to do is kind of line everything up. <clears throat> tighten our clamps. One here, one here, and then one for the exhaust tip. Put our sensors back in, and that's it for the exhaust system. All right, so here is your finished exhaust system. So here's your monster exhaust tip, 
chrome says banks power on it top and bottom five inch exhaust all your sensors go back in your stock location and that's it i'll let this thing down so you can see what it looks like on the ground all right guys so that's going to do it for the banks power monster exhaust five inch on an l5p if you guys need any Banks products, be sure to contact us here at RPM Motorsports. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram as well. I try to post up their daily stuff I'm doing around the shop, stuff I'm doing at home. And always be sure to check out High PSI TV merchandise. There's a link in the description below. And don't forget to check out my homepage because I have other L5P videos on there. More Banks products. I'm going to go ahead and do the tuner right now. That video will be up next.